and we're back, baby. Episode 154, Flint Child in the motherfucking house. If you don't know, we're about to get you a lot of information so you can have a better understanding of who he is. A man that is more than a musician. He's a father of two. Oh, shit. He's a father of two. And, yeah. We're about to start this thing off right. Listen to one of these songs, pre-roll, give you a better understatement of what kind of music he does. We started this podcast with a pre-roll. Let's get it, baby. For the child. Ah, need to smoke to the sea. My day started off with a pre-roll. Pre-roll last night after I re-rolled. The blood I face to myself, that's how we roll. Still smoking out the same bag, it's like a week old. Party hard, work hard, all we know. You being hard, still don't add us up as equal. But first, thing you kill it? Brainstorm in the weed smoke Take mistakes, learn the lesson as we grow If you fake, stay away Out my face, in no space in this place For a snake or a weasel Better take a second, think about the words that we spoke My day started off with a pre-roll Pre-roll, last night I got re-rolled The blood I face to myself, that's how we roll Still smoking out the same bag, it's like a week old My day started off with a pre-roll Pre-roll, last night I got re-rolled The blood I face to and if you like that song, you need to go download it. You need to go add him to your playlist. You need to go check this motherfucker out. Because, hey, Flint Child ain't a name that's going to be brought up once or twice. We're talking about this man all the fucking time. Because, literally, he's on all the shows that I'm doing. If it's a show that Feeling Good Podcast is a part of, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm adding this motherfucker. Much love. And the only love. time he ain't joining on that 0.1%. Is if he's got, you know, a family emergency, if he's got a birthday, he can't attend. That's that's pretty much it. But otherwise, <laughs> we're adding them to damn near everything. So, welcome, 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 baby. Thanks for having me. Thanks yes, for having sir. Me. Yes, sir. Big shout out to Feel Good Podcast. Man, you're, you're a big supporter of the uh, podcast. This one is way overdue. Way overdue. Um, I appreciate all you do, man. Like, I, like I've told you from the jump, man, is you have a voice that is fuck. <laughs> fuck dude fuck. <laughs> so you got it bro like everything about that. it the fucking range <clears throat> the fucking levels everything bro like i can i can honestly say like i want my kids to make sure they fucking jam pre-roll i want to make sure they, my kids. i want to i want to make sure they jam everything you know oh, like yeah. don't let go like i said we got a list of of great ass songs you know like there's lonely that's that's one of my favorites and it's just you you've <coughs> just showed so much Improvement since I've shown you, since I've known you, and it's crazy how we met. I appreciate that. Crazy yeah, how we Apollo. met. Apollo, big, big shout out to Apollo, man. Big shout out to Apollo. Mad, mad love for Apollo, man. It's literally one of the only reasons why I'm, I'm here. So he's definitely a big reason why I am here. Big shout out. Yeah, it's crazy because uh, Apollo said uh, we got some. Uh, uh, okay, this is the first one of the day. Busting it open early. Community feedback. Oh um, shit. What we like to do on the show is, uh, you know, people that. You know, especially like you, you're known by a handful of people, you know, so that it's real easy to reach out and kind of, you know, do a little bit of homework and, hey, what do you think about, you know, Flint Child? Oh, you, you made music with them? You you know, like, what has what the experience been? And, you know, just like that. And I think it's important for others to, you know, kind of know the work ethic you have, you know, when it's when it stands on music, it's, it's, it's through the roof. Um, what do Apollo, you say about me? Apollo says this. He was scrolling through Facebook, kind of found you on accident, said you resembled a friend of his, and literally he realized that you weren't his friend, but you were fire, and uh, basically says quickly blew him back. You have your own lane. You're a very different artist, well-rounded artist. You stand out everywhere you go. You got the voice, can write, got it going on, no auto-tune, no bad conversations with Flint. If you need someone trustworthy, he's your guy. And Mad low. yeah, so it's uh you know a lot of a lot of good things have been said about you, man. And uh, you know I think I think it's always it's always good to have your roses, man, while you're here. You know, like fuck Definitely. getting them while we're gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm hip with that, man. That's for sure. People need to start giving each other their roses now. You can't give them when they're gone. You know what I'm saying? In my eyes, I want to hold them and smell them. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to bathe in them. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so Flint Child, being from Flint, 
born and raised? Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, I moved to the country a little bit when I was younger, but most of my life, yes. Yeah. Yep. So, born there, moved away a little bit, then moved back. Yep, still there now. Nice. Been trying to get the fuck out, but yeah. mad love to my city, and that's, you know, everybody who tries, they say they're trying to get out their hood, the same thing I'm trying to do, but I'm trying to do it a different way. Yeah. Why do you, why do you, why do you say you want to get out? Uh, besides- I want to be able to help my city and give back to my city, but... Eventually, everybody got to leave their home, you know, and go out to see the world. Yeah. Try different things. Step out of your comfort zone. That's the only way you're going to get anywhere past your goals. You know what I'm saying? I, I got goals just like everybody else, but I want to exceed those goals. And t- to me, you got to step outside your comfort zone. It's comfort zone, so. Man, I definitely <clears throat> see you exceeding every goal you put on, you know? like Appreciate that. Whether it's going to, you know, big, big shows where it's like rolling loud or... You know, I think it's just a matter of time. You know, like this this little tour to Cali. You know, I'm booking. I'm trying to book some shit with Canada. With Canada? Yeah. Now you're talking. You gotta get a enhanced license. Okay. So it's twenty five bucks, fifteen bucks. So it's not too much. What if we got a felony? I mean, I ain't got a felony, but can you? I'm just wondering. Uh, I'll have to. Find <laughs> I'll, have to I'll have to get back to you. I'll have to get back. To you. I just want. I ain't got a felony. I swear to God. But yeah, so I'm, you know, like I'm also trying to book some shit with in Indiana, you know, book like cool. a little tour, you know, we got people to stay in pretty much all these tours, so it's like, you know, kind of alleviates that cost of you know paying for a hotel, paying for Airbnb, getting everybody to fucking agree on sleeping arrangements and blah 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 blah, fuck that shit's free, find a place, get it, get it, you know. Everybody shit, really about it, man. If the artists really want it, shit, I'll yeah. pop a tent outside if it's nice. Right. I don't need to pay no way. I'll sleep on the damn floor, on the ground with this tent. Right. <coughs> but, but, but it's man. because your work ethic. And not many people have that work ethic. You know, I'm going to get to the, the second, the second of the day. The, oh, com- the community feedback from, ah, from, from, this one. from Ace Who. Mad love. Love Ace Who, man. Talks about your work ethic is, uh yeah, we'll get to it sir. one second. <laughs> he says... Ace who, if you don't know, now you do. Now you do, motherfucker. Voice is angelic. He said that to me today. <laughs> this morning. Immaculate vibes. Stays in his own lane, has his own lane, consistent. Literally talked about creating a song with him, sent him the song, and literally the same night, Flint Child pumps it back to him, and they were working on song number two in 48 hours, you know? And it was. <laughs> and then. You know, it just kind of, you know, like he said, is your work ethic. You know, it kind of like reminded him of his, and that's that's a rare thing to ace. You know, he said, you know, like seeing somebody with that work ethic. I'm hungry, man. Yeah, and it, and it shows, you know, like you're always on it. You're always, you know, and that's why I'm like, hey, a fucking superstar talent needs exposure. That's it. That's the only thing missing. You got everything else. You got the, you know, the talent. You got the performance. You're, you're a vibe. It's just a matter of time of getting the right people to see it. I appreciate that. Us going viral when we go on these fucking Trying shows. Trying to. We're going to go viral doing some good shit, not no dumb shit. Yes, sir. I don't want to get lucky and somebody sees me fucking slip and fall or I make some dumbass fucking freestyle that makes no sense while I'm drunk. I don't want to get famous off that. I want to get famous off my lyrics that actually make a story as you close your eyes and listen to it. And that shit that, that makes... Like Ace Who said... He says, you make my pee-pee tingle. And that's, that's why I make music, to make people's pee-pee tingle. Like, I want to touch you, you know what I'm saying, in different ways, soul and your heart type shit. Well, this is the last uh, last thing that Ace said. Uh, voice of an angel, your work ethic. You have a work ethic of a god who's trying to create another universe overnight. And uh, definitely, definitely, wow. when, he, when he said that, I was like, wow. You wow. Know, like, it's that's definitely, awesome. And it's it's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you, you literally... You know, you were so hungry. I feel like now you have your own space down in the basement. And I feel like you're just, you're able to have that, you know, separation a little bit from, you know, from business and, and uh, you know, family. You know, and then when, you know, you're ready, I feel like it's 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 so, so close to transition, you know, because it's right down there. But you get a little bit of more privacy, you know. Right, yeah. Instead of being, I had a, I had a studio, for those who don't know. Upstairs, I got three bedroom. And then I moved it downstairs. Kind of. Yeah, for sure. A little bit more privacy. But yeah. But man, what is it, uh, you know, obviously you weren't a musician for out the womb. 
uh, talk about, you know, <coughs> kind of growing up in Flint. What was, uh, what was like the life, you know, childhood like? You play sports, you know, uh, easy childhood. I mean, first of all, I came out the womb fucking. Nah, 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 nah. He no, said, <laughs> my voice almost gone right today, but been recording the last few days. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, man, I, I'm born in early. Uh, I think it was like 4:02 a.m. actually to be exact. That's when Flint Child Stephen McCain was born. Came to this world and blessed the world with my presence. Um, me and obviously a lot of people can say, yeah, their childhood was tough. Mine was too. We've all had tough things that we go through, so um, I don't really know. Whatever you want to share. So my mom, my mom and pops broke up, divorced at when I was like four or five, and then what's funny is my babysitter actually that took care of me while my mom and dad were together. Her name was Tracy. Big shout out to my stepmom, love you to death. <clears throat> she was my babysitter, so. My mom would always leave us with macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. Cannot stand mac and cheese and hot dogs together now because of that. Yeah. Tracy would, like, sneak me over some pizza and stuff. She'd bring us pizza and shit after my mom left. Well, she ended up being my mom later on, yeah. that babysitter. So after my dad got locked up again. <clears throat> uh, How old were you when your dad got locked up again? Uh, three and a half, four. So he had got knocked up before, right before he went in, I guess. He had knocked up the babysitter. And then my mom went to go see him later on, you know, a year or whatever later. And my babysitter was there, my dad's girl, with his daughter, so which is my sister. So your dad had a mom, <laughs> a babysitter. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's crazy shit, man. So your ba they, have, they had any kids? Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, my sister, Courtney. Okay. Yep. So then we ended up moving up. They moved up. I was still with my mom at the time. My dad moved up north to Buckley, Michigan, up by Traverse City and Cadillac with Tracy and my sister and her son, Tate, my stepbrother. Okay. <clears throat> Both younger than me. Um, so I ended up moving up there with them. So I went from being the youngest of four to the oldest of three. And I didn't even barely know, you know, my, my stepbrother. Right. I knew my sister a little bit, but I barely knew these kids, you know. Now I have to be their older brother. I don't know how to be an older brother. I've been the younger brother my whole life. Right. And... It was definitely difficult for a long time. Me and Tracy didn't get along because, you know, at that time in my head, I was like, you took me pretty much from my mom. You know, you took my dad. Kind of probably homewrecker thought and vibes when I was younger, but yeah. eventually grew to be a very good relationship. She was just, I had to realize as I got older, she was raised differently. She wasn't raised with love and tender heart and touch. You know what I'm saying? So she was more of a stern mom. My dad, he was both roles. He was stern as fuck, but like, Right, same, same, same. I am kind of with my kids. You know, I, if I get angry and I'm yelling at them, it's like right after. It's like, come here, man. Why do you right, make right. me yell at you, man? I love you. You know, right. my dad was like that. Gave me both sides. So, <clears throat> and then my real ma. That's a whole another. That's a whole another story, man. It's, it's been rough with my mom. Disowned her by four or five times. Oh damn. Yeah, for sure. Uh, to this day, it's still touchy, touchy with me and her. Like you were in the car earlier. Was going to, big shout out to McNash just went and helped record a music video Woo! with them before this interview y'all see that shit uh, check the page hey big shout out to Peso as well thanks for letting us you know come, come kick it with y'all but uh I can't remember where I was at I'm high as shit uh, <laughs> just talking about your mom yeah oh yeah it's just, she the way she was brought up as well you know she wasn't brought up with a whole lot of love because she was beaten and shit by her dad. And <clears throat> my grandma, her mom, you know, she was a loving mom, but my mom just been through a lot. She's got uh, some issues that she's still trying to settle out now in her older age, you know. But I can't always hate on my mom, so my mom, so what am I going to do? Right. I accept her for who she one. is. You only get one of them. I accept her for who she is. You know, we all make mistakes. We're all not human. We're all human. I'm not a lizard person, I promise. We're all... <laughs> He said I'm an animal. We're all not human. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, that's uh so what what age do you think that uh music started to become a, a real interest for you? I've always loved music. Always loved music. So you know, a little even through all the bad times, you know, there's good there's good memories, good times. And one good memory I had, which is there's not a whole lot with my real mom. <clears throat> She's called me a road dog and be just me and her. You know, this might be a time to go to the store or some shit, leave my older brother and my older sister 
uh, at home. I sit up front when she play some music. Uh, road dog time, you know. Yeah. I get the mom. I get my mom. My, my mom, baby type shit. So those are some good moments with her. <clears throat> Can't remember the question before that though. I'm sorry. Oh, just uh, yeah, just like the I don't know, just just growing up, you know, just overall, just. Yeah. Okay, so then I moved up to with my dad. Kind of the first, first country shit. Yeah, you know, first when you got you know kind of interested in music, you know, being like an artist. Oh, I've, like uh, yeah, now I remember. Like I was saying, I, I've always loved music. So, and then when I was about ten or eleven, I started doing poetry, writing poetry. <clears throat> um. And I started to kind of mess with instr instrumentals, and I would write poets, poetry to the beats before I even wrote raps. Really? Yeah. So, what did you like? Uh, po what what uh, what drove you to do poetry? Was it the girl? Emotions, just, just emotions, feelings. Just a lot of an it was when I first started. It was a lot of angry poetry, yeah. more sad, dark shit. And then, cause I, like I said, I wasn't always a positive person. Right. So it was a lot of angry shit. And then I started rapping, and then cause rap. <clears throat> Growing up, a lot of rap, you know, was like that, that real raw shit. You know what I'm saying? The, the Eminem crumping fucking. and fucking yeah, Eminem and Dr. Dre, the shit you really feel like get angry when you listen to like yeah, let's fuck some shit up. You. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Like so, then I started writing raps um, and freestyling a lot, and then my dad like the rock part of me and shit, classic grunt rock and shit. That was my dad growing up. Pandera, Rat, Metallica, shit like that. ACDC, of course. Classics, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Classics. <sighs> Fucking. And then, I don't know, man. It just it kind of started kicking off. I just, I never really made songs, but I wrote a lot. I used to, I had like 10 notebooks, man. Front to back filled with just little shit. Still got them? Nope. Damn. Lost, them, lost them somewhere in the move, some some age. I don't even remember, but I, and I know I had them motherfuckers. Them shits would have been crazy to like throw in like the back shadow box at him, or man. something. Yeah, be able to go back, and take one, and turn it into a song. Definitely. I was sick about losing that. But yeah, shout out, uh, shout out, Asu. Big shout out to Asu, man. Crazy, crazy freaking artist. Definitely a very humble, humble and loving person, man. Like. Me and him already tell each other, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna, you know, be every day, but say I love you before we get on the phone. Like, oh, mad, yeah. It went from mad love, he was like, mad love, bro, and for some reason, I was high as shit on the other phone, and I was like, love you too, bro, and I hung up. I texted him, I'm like, I totally just told you I love you. He's like, son, good, man, I love you too. I'm like, bet. So then, like, the next time we was on the phone, he's like, all right, man, I love you. I'm like, I love you too. Hung up, and then I told my girl, I'm like, so I guess me and Ace, we just tell each other we love each other now. I'm like, I'm cool with it. Yeah. I got mad love for the dude, man. Yeah. He's, he's an amazing person. I'm very, very blessed and humbled to work with him as well. Can't wait to see what else we got to bring, you know? Yeah, there's just so much so much talent across the area, you know, like all up and down the, you know, the, the, the fucking, you know, whether it's I, the whole I-75, I you know, whether it's Flint to Saginaw to Bay City to, you know, going to Detroit, you know, like there's so much talent in Michigan alone. It's it's so crazy. Um, is there any is there any underground artists that like you know about in Flint that don't get enough love? I mean, honestly, I don't know many of them. Uh, kid, big shout out to Kid. Kid, Kid's a great artist. Fire, slept Great down. artist. Crispy Life, great artist. Uh, but I haven't really worked. I, honestly, I haven't worked with really many art, Flint artists. I got my cousin that I worked with NFS, not for show money. You know, he's just now trying to get serious with it. With it, um, he's on SoundCloud, and then my other cousin Gary Chummers, that's gonna be actually be at the show. show. Yep, April six, y'all. April six, the eight one zero music takeover. JW's Music Factory. If you don't know, look it up. We'll be there. East Side Flint Door Highway, bringing it to my my city. It's gonna yep. be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna man. be nuts. I'm very excited. Very excited. But. That's that's about it from Flint, man. I, don't, I haven't worked, had the chance to work with any of them. Yeah, we gotta uh, we gotta definitely get you and Blarino together. Yes, that shit's gonna be a good one. I believe I reached out to him already. Yeah, he's from Flint, so one of my one of my uh, one of my favorite underground artists from that area as well. So you know, you and you and uh, Blair, y'all are the first two names when I think of like representing the city. You know that I love. 
yeah. So definitely, definitely uh big props to both of y'all. Um definitely like to link up with him. I know I've listened to his music. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely fire. So choosing the name Flint Shop, what what made you do it? Well, when I started, when, it was a couple years ago when I first started getting serious and put my music out on all streams. You look me up on all streaming platform, by the way, Flint Child. Um, you know, I, I was Lil Steve growing up. <laughs> Call me Lil Steve. There's a lot of Lil Wayne, Lil Baby, a lot of Lils, you know. So yeah. I had to be different. What What could I do that represents me? So Flint Child. I'm a big man child. If you know me, you know I like to have a good time. I like to make people smile. I like to do jokes. Be funny. Me and my kids, I mean, we're like best friends. I fuck with them a lot. Probably shouldn't. So that's probably why they're little assholes sometimes. But, um, so what can kind of explain me and who I am? So Flint, Flint's in my heart. You know, I bleed and sweat Flint. So that's my city. And I'm a big man child, so Flint child. Hey, Flint superstar one day. I, I don't know. We got to just fucking. My girl said Flint King. Flint King, King of Flint. King, yeah. <laughs> King of Flint, Flint King for show, you know, just, but, it, you know, the, it's it's definitely a catchy name, you know, like, when you think about it, it's like, Flint Child, oh, I'm from Flint, oh, shit. It's funny when people go, Flint Child, where you from? Right. Bro, Flint? Yeah, cause <laughs> it, could, it could be a first name, it could be. True, true that, true that, yeah. Because I know, uh, I know a couple people that, uh, Flint, like, uh, what is it, the Hustler, his, uh, first name is Flint. Okay. True that. Yeah. Larry Flint. Yeah, good people. Good people making sexual, sexual shit. You what, what you remember the first time you uh seen a seen the like a Playboy magazine or <laughs> seen a Hustler, Hustler magazine, you remember oh, the, I got a story for you, dude. You know, what's, the, what's the first Speaking memory? Of my childhood. I know you got some funny ones. <laughs> oh shit. You can tell my voice is fucked up. I got a show Friday too. Fuck. All right, so <clears throat> it's just still my dad's old porn magazine and shit when I was younger. And fucking, he was coming downstairs one time and I was looking at him. So I threw the bitch in my garbage underneath, right? My room was a little messy. My room was in the basement. He could not, he's yelling at me. I thought I told you to clean this fucking room, blah, 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 blah. Kicks over my garbage head. Fucking porn magazine. <laughs> he's gonna slide down. He's like, ain't you stealing my magazines? <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, man, I definitely, uh, my mom's, it was like my mom's, like, boyfriend. He was like, you know, they was dating for a minute at the time. This motherfucker called me beating my shit, you know, I had to <laughs> fucking put it away real quick, fucking pow, <laughs> cover blanket goes down on my shit, and he goes, what oh, the shit. fuck you doing down there? And I'm like, itching my leg, itching my leg, you know? <laughs> and it was just like, oh, shit. it was just like the... I don't know, it was just always like, he always talked shit. You know, it's like, oh yeah, boys, it's just laying in there, you know? <coughs> don't don't uh, go in there too soon. I got another funny one for you, bro. The way you, all right, so as a kid, this is in Buckley. So the way you come up from my back, from my basement stairs, you come up, you got, there's a wall here, you got to take a right, and then there's a big ass kitchen, and there's no wall, and then you got the living room, so it's like one big old space. Well, at the top of the fucking stairs, you got a picture of Jesus, right? And then oh, right over here, you got the TV, and then the chair is like right here in the face of the TV. You know what I'm saying? So I come up to go to the bathroom, and you see my dad sitting in the chair like from behind on the Je- face of Jesus. You see porn on TV just this, right? I'm like, oh, Jesus' his face. I just sneak back downstairs like, oh, shit. That boy <laughs> beat, beat. What did I so listen. <laughs> so I, I told my dad. Probably in the last four years, about like, hey, bro, you want to hear something funny? We was drinking, which is very rare. My dad, if he has shots with me, it's like a good occasion, you know? Right. <laughs> and uh, I told him, like, I cut the trick off one time. I'm he's like, you did? I'm like, yeah, bro, Jesus seen you, and I seen you. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, you ever remember the big brown chair? I told him I lived room was set up. He's like, no, nah, man, no, me. Lying to yourself. Lying like, caught your ass. Got you, Dad. You got, got caught you. me, I caught you. That's funny. Oh, shit. It was good. But I was like, Jesus, space. No, why? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, I just fucking really fucking disturbed this moment. Really. Oh, shit. I was probably like eight or nine, bro. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah. There's a... 
Man, I remember this fucking weird ass kid, man. That shit was wild. Uh, I won't say his name because he's, he's a psycho. But uh, this dude was like, I don't know, I was probably, probably 12. 12, I had uh, this dude with me, uh, Jordan. He was like, uh, he's my friend's old, little younger brother. He's like nine years old. So uh, this, this, he's a couple years older than me. He brings us into this fucking shed. Cause we're, you know, he's, he wants to show us some shit. <laughs> and, uh, this Bro, this motherfucker pulled his stick out and started jerking off. <laughs> Come like, to my shed. <laughs> yeah, but it, I was so fucking freaked out. I said, Jordan, let's go. And then, like, we just busted out the door, like, ran home. Oh, shit. Told his mom, told my mom. <laughs> we like, were fucking laying on. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was, I was like, this motherfucker, bro. Oh, like, shit. Dick hard as shit. Fucking right in front of us. You <laughs> fucking homo. We were some kids. Oh my god! I was just like, "What a fucking weirdo!" That's horrible. Yeah, bro. You're Mark, fucking scarred for life, Mark. You nasty motherfucker. You fucking nasty bastard. You did not make me feel good. That was not a feeling good moment. This was years ago, Mark, and he still fucking thinks about it, Mark. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you for real, Jordan. Hey, you remember that shit, bro? Scar. <laughs> if you don't, now you do, motherfucker. You remember now? Yeah, you fucking flashbacks. <laughs> oh shit. So my abs are going to hurt tomorrow, bro. Hey, that's good. Oh. Laughter is the best medicine. For it sure. really is. You know, 15 minutes on some positive shit. A hey, positive fact of the day. I'm going to start some shit like that. Positive I'm big facts. on positive movements. Positive facts of the day. 15 minutes of negativity lasts in the body 24 hours. And it takes more muscles to frown in your face than it does to smile. So why not give out positive energy at the same time and save yourself some stress? You know, speaking, <coughs> of, speaking of smile, my daughter had uh, a... <coughs> school pictures the other day because she's had them bitches before and tell me why she uh she went I know she went <laughs> and, it, it, and it was just like is that oh. why you answered the phone like that I was like what did you do to your lips and she was just and then like her, her mom's like you just made your whole top lip disappear you know like <laughs> and, and then she's like yeah we're gonna do picture retakes and then she Amelia's like how should I smile like this and then she was like a normal smile like yeah that looks way better <laughs> She's like, okay, just a normal smile then. So not, you know, and I was just like, wow. And it was just one of those moments where, like, she knew, like, okay. She, I was like, look at this shit, Amelia. You look, you look like you want to, like, tear someone's head off. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I do look crazy. <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, picture retake. We've all agreed. <laughs> but yeah. Costco. Oh, you, ever, you ever go to Costco? Yes. My mom loves for Costco. Everyone. Live by Costco's. <laughs> I love Costco's. I'm like, I'm going to go to the grocery store, Mom. I just need some milk. You want to go to Costco's? I'm like, but it's an hour drive. I just need oh, milk, shit. Mom. I don't where, need to go to Costco's for milk. You can get a bundle of them. Where's the closest Costco for you? I th- isn't it like Midland or some shit? That's the closest for you? Like an hour. Yeah, God dude. dang. It's like an hour drive or some shit. That's wild. Yep. I'm like, fuck a Costco. I got. I can go to Sam's Club. Yeah, you Same should. Same thing. Live. She says, let us know what you want. Boy. You know what I mean? Get that bitch and drive it to your next show. Yeah. So playing that shit, fuck that drive. Maybe every once every six months, just take a trip, make my mom happy, because I swear she tries to get me to go all the time. Yeah. Calls me, what are you doing? Just chilling. I'm not going to Costco's, mom. I was just going to see if you want to ride with me. Like, <laughs> no, mom, I don't want to go. She don't call me much, man. So, like, she just calls, how you doing? I heard from you. Well, I know, mom. I don't really call you to check up on you every day. Like you do, I should, you know, it sounds like I'm an asshole, but just, I'm not, I don't know, I'm a bit busy, you know? Right, you got sacrifice but you're making, you do shit. every time she does call, I do answer, and right. I do, you know, I call her sometimes, just not every day, but, um, you know, I guess I say mom's worry. Mom's worry for sure. It was a while where she didn't worry, you know, as a kid, for a long ass time. Now that I'm older, now you want to come around? That's how, kind of how I feel, but... Again, you only get one mom. Right. So it's just it's constant work on the relationship, but Yeah, I don't have a relationship with my dad, so it's like I can imagine, I can I can relate. I can relate. I'm it's, really close to my father, man. How do you feel how do you feel like like your your mom and dad, you know, separate and like affect you music wise? Do you think you're made for some I think that's where a lot of emotion and pain may come from. And poetry, and it really opened yeah. it up. Yeah, my lyrics, bro, because it's... My mom used to use me as, like, to hurt my dad, you know? My dad was... If he was 
scheduled to come get me for the weekend or some shit. And she'd get mad at him about something. She's like, well, you can't pick him up for the weekend. This is when she had custody and shit. And there's been times where, like, he came one time, and I got in the car, and they were arguing already. And then we started driving away as she was telling him, no, now you can't take him. She opened the door and, like, snatched me out and shit. It was like, you're not taking him. Just I remember shit like that. And that's something that before I had kids, which my first one, Stephen the third, he was planned three months into a relationship. But I had known for two years that I loved the woman that I wanted to have, you know, my kid with before I was even with her. Since I met her, I was Shout out wifey, man. Good Big people. shout out Jennifer Russell, man. Big, big shout Very out to her. Very blessed, man. Love that woman, man. So I, put, I put her through hell, but she stuck by me and still is to this day. One of the strongest women I know, man. One of the strongest women I know for real. <clears throat> big shout out to my woman. Yeah, she's a real big supporter. I know, uh, I don't know what it, what is it uh what does it mean to you to have that type of support? Because <coughs> I think I talked to you. World to me. I talked to you about it before. Like it sometimes, world to me. sometimes some of these artists don't have nobody at shows. And she, I feel like she's always she's always there. So I definitely, it's awesome that uh that y'all that y'all have you know each other, and definitely like just for your you know your mental health. You know, it seems like you know she she uh, takes care of it. So. It's yeah, awesome. she's definitely my uh, black widow to my hawk, you know. What the fuck does that mean? You ever, you're, you're not watching Avengers and shit like that? Or? I guess I'm I, a big Marvel freak, so. I fucking missed the pun, Bro, I don't know. Black widow, you know. Yeah. Hawk. You know, he's angry as shit. She goes, son, come on, big guy. Sun's getting real low. And, like, he puts his hand out and she touches it. And I'm about like, to watch this motherfucking hey, movie. Then he's like... <laughs> Or to turn it back into Bruce Banner, like she calms him down. Like yeah. she tamed my fucking my beast, bro. If it, honest God, if it wasn't for that woman, I would either be dead or locked up. For for sure, hundred percent. There's no doubt in my mind about that. To this day, she keeps me from hurting people. Sometimes, like the world is so full of stupid motherfuckers, man. And that's why I feel like just more love, man. If people had more love for each other, there'd be so less dumb, idiotic people. There'd be less death. There'd be less everything that is wrong with this world. Man. Just open up your heart. Let your wall down. I don't care how big of a person you are. There's no reason to be mad at the world every fucking day. If you're upset, do something about it to make you happy. Feel that Reach. Hope. Reach. <laughs> I have a dream. Yeah. <laughs> And one day, motherfuckers will want peace like me. <laughs> He's on a goddamn roll. Sorry. Sorry, not no, sorry. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Don't get me started, man. Don't get me started, because I'll be up in the camera yelling at motherfuckers like, just love each other. No, I think <laughs> I think definitely, man, you uh, you have such a, like, such a good personality, bro. Like, you could definitely do comedy. You could definitely do I've, acting and all that shit. I've literally, literally, dude, I've, God, you're speaking straight from words of my mouth, man. I would love to act. I've thought about it. I would love to do comedy. I've thought about it. Like, th- I've got a lot of fucking dreams, but music's the one that really stood out the most for me, yeah. honestly. But you never know. Maybe one day something will come where, you know, music, somebody hears one of my songs, and then they want to meet me, and then they're like, I make movies. You see, and they might think the same thing. They like, yeah. come try out for this movie I know about. And boom, you never know. Things could, doors open every day. Just got to hold the motherfuckers open. We got uh, Roadrunner Z. <laughs> Is, a, is making a movie right now, Tri-City Gangsters. Okay. Let's get you involved. I'm down. I'm yeah. down as well. Hey, we'll make the call after this. I'm going to write that down. The next song we got is Kryptonite, y'all. Oh, yeah? Have y'all ever heard this song? It's, I can't be a... Yeah, they going to like this one. <laughs> Let me play that one. Yes, sir. All righty. <laughs> Definitely gave them kids my name too. But my the final vote. We'll finally know which egg is loved most. Reese's or Cadbury. I hate that man. Ads. They're everywhere nowadays. Here we go. Is it not connect anymore? Did it die? He's gonna hit it up. No, the middle button on there. Yep. Connect right away. Want him to play it? Yep. Weird. 
stop chewing your tracks. We're going to start that one over. This is Kryptonite, all platforms. Hey, Flint Child. Kryptonite, all platforms, Flint Child, go check it out, go stream it, go enjoy it, go run those numbers up. Go he's, do that. He's going to have a music video coming to it soon, hopefully soon, soon, soon. A lot of the songs, hopefully we get some visuals to them, because, uh, man, I'm ready. I will personally shoot a couple for free. That's how much I love this man's voice. I'm going I'm to take him up on that for sure. Hey. If that's the case, we will have a music video in the next week or two. This is no cap TV. <laughs> no cap TV. I will fucking... I'm ready whenever. Hey, this next song, we're just going to bust right into oh, okay. it. Okay. Uh, don't let go. Y'all are going to love this one. It's a Rocky vibe. Wet Made with crazy. the world smoothest. The, the different... This is where I say the range, just the versatility, just from pre-roll to kryptonite, and now you're going to see it on Don't Let Go. And we're not even stuck. We're not even done. Did he show so many different, so many different vibes? I'm excited for y'all to see the, the rest of this track list. Don't let go on platform. Foot child, baby. I suck so much ball water after that, dude. Are you getting ball water? No, you gotta wait till foot's all the way. Stop draining. Feels like I'm about to give in Try to feed this overwhelming hunger I've always wanted to win But in order to make it I need forgiveness for myself You are speaking the truth You are my path to the end Waterfalls like rain from my eyes Running dry and cry to me what do the pain in my life Every day is a fight just to survive Still I'm led to head, you're not alone I'm reaching out, just take a hold And don't let go That's called Don't Let Go He's dying at the moment No, 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 no? this is baby And I had to take it slow I had to take it <laughs> slow you keep, the, keep it in there a little bit Just let it die out Go ahead you'll, uh, you'll always have to uh, uh, Yep and then bam. Then flip it and I'll got you. I don't know why it's not hitting for me. <laughs> Maybe it's getting clogged. It was slowly getting my uh, baby hits. We'll uh, let it clean that bitch off after 
after this. We were sitting that bitch extra heavy before this fucking show. Um, so yeah, that was don't let go. Don't let go. What did you? Uh, what's what's been the feedback? You know, from this song because this is one of my favorite. Uh, you know, switch ups. Um, honestly, I haven't got a whole lot of feedback other than like from you guys, from you, you know, McNass and people from the Melon May family, the Feel Good family. Good feedback. Everybody says it's a good song. I feel like it could be get, it could be better personally, but I'm also a perfectionist, which I'm starting to learn to just say fuck it, put it out there. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's still good. <laughs> What's crazy is you really just the live performance is just so night and day. You know, it's just a, you really just blow it out of the water. I feel like that's I feel like I I sound better live because my songs sound like shit. <laughs> Not even, uh, <laughs> not even that. I think you just, you know, you can really hear the passion, you know, when it's live, yeah. you know, and like what I like, what they said is, or uh, what Apollo said was no auto tune. That's one of the one of my favorite things about it is, you don't want no one changing the voice. That's one of my you biggest want, things, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck and with I love that. it. I you love can, it because uh, you know, I always thought auto tune was like just straight up chains like T Pain type shit. You know what I'm saying? But apparently there's like auto tune where it just like clean your vocals up a little bit. Yeah. That still wants the very least. Right. Because that my voice is already different. There's you want I want that little bit of out. raspiness in there. So you know what I'm saying? But I do you can put a little bit in there, but don't change my vocals. Right. Don't change my voice at all. Yeah. But yeah. B big on no auto tune. <clears throat> hey. Definitely, definitely understandable. I definitely uh, 100% agree, though. You know, like, I love that, you know. The raspiness, even though, like, some might say it's raspy, like, man, that shit makes it stand out. That that shit makes it, you know, like, there's a uh, an artist named uh, Marty, fuck is it, Marty Mc, Marty, Marty Ray or some shit, or, uh, what the fuck is his name, Marty Ray? He basically does a bunch of covers. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Let's check him out. Uh, big guy, Marty mm. Ray. On what? Anything, yeah. Should be able to find him. YouTube, anything. Oh, YouTube. All right. If y'all have heard him, Marty Ray Project. But you got a ball head. <coughs> yeah, this guy. I know it might look like I'm the ice, the ice eyes are just low. The Ice Ice Baby one was the one he, uh, he really killed it. All right, stop, collaborate and listen. Ooh. Ice is back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, flowing like an awful daily and nightly. Will oh, yeah. never stop, though? I don't know. Turn off the light. And now go to the extreme. I rock a bike like a vandal. Light up a stage and wax and jump like a candle dance. Caress the speaker that booms. I'm killing your brain like a voice in this mushroom. But when I play a dope melody, anything less than the best is a felony. Felony! You better gain weight. Better hit fools out of kid don't care. DJ revolves it. Yeah, yeah. Unless it. Come put the little eyes, eyes, baby. Oh, eyes, eyes, baby. Yeah, eyes. Oh, he's killing me. Oh, yeah. Come put the little eyes, eyes, baby. Oh, eyes, eyes, baby. Body is jumping Ooh. with the bass kicked in, fingers all pumping, quick to the point, to the point, no faking, burning them seeds like a pound of bacon. If you're not quick and nimble, you're crazy. I hear that symbol, I am with the suits up tempo. I'm on a roll. We're about to go to a sound right after this. In my five point four, oh, 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 a problem, I would solve it. Check out the hook by my, my DJ revolves Hey, you know what I'm hearing? Like, uh, what, you do, hey. what I love is like, he, he, you know, like, he has that raspiness, he has Amazing. that like fire. Amazing, and like, 
I love that motherfucker when I hear his shit. And, like, that's that you remind me a lot about him, you know? It's like, I would you love don't, to work with have that unique fucking that sound. It's and different, it's, dude. Yeah. It's different. That's it stands cute. out everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. For real. And, it stand, and it stands out in a good way. Yeah. Shout out Marty Ray Project. Big he, shout out Marty, man. He, that shit was amazing, He man. is doing big things. He Got me it. singing. Yeah, for real. Uh, <laughs> this, this next song is actually with NFS Money. Versions of Me. A banger, a banger, a banger. Man, I sat on this song for like a year and a half, bro. A year and a half. If y'all don't like this, you might as well stop listening. Because this man's been playing fire all fucking night. Fuck out. So, <laughs> relax. Enjoy your seatbelt if you're on the road. I appreciate you for listening. We're at episode Very 154. Feel a good podcast. The podcast. Is, is it really 154? Yeah. My A. Hey, my football number. My favorite number. My fucking 54. Ooh. I swear, dude. I swear to him. Hey, and you know what's crazy? I woke up the other day. It was 3.33 when I looked at the fucking the phone. And I was like, man, paranormal shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like 3.30 to 4.30 or 3.4. Yeah. Well, come to find out, 333 is like 777. It's a heavenly number. It means like your guardian angel's there for like a life change or like success or career change or like just to walk next to you. It's like a good thing. So like I thought of my grandma Sandy. <clears throat> and so like 154, now fucking that's my favorite number. Like I'm seeing shit like that. Gas the other day was 333 the same day I woke up. Swear to God. That's shout out to my girl because she was in the car because I told her about it, about the <clears throat> waking up. And then we were going to get my kid from school and gas 333. She told me about it. And I looked. I'm like, that's fucking crazy. And I ha we have coincidences like that all the time. That I told her. I pointed out one day. And I'm like, watch. Because I, I used to always think, like, man, I have this shit happen all the time. And I know a lot of people do, too. I'm not no psychic or nothing. But literally, I could call shit out. So, like, one day, I started telling my girl. I'm like, watch. I have a feeling, you know, blah, blah, blah. Whether it be small or big. Right. And it would happen. And then now she catches on to where... She's starting to see shit like I see. We'll both we'll both think of something at the same time. Be like, uh, like it's crazy, man. And I believe we're that's why I believe we're all connected in some type of way. Like spiritually, spiritually man. Eye, you, we're eye. humans. Got, humanity, he's, man. He's got the third eye. Love, vision. man. Shit's crazy. <clears throat> but anyways, hopefully versus, no ads. Yeah, versus hey, me. Um, did you try? Yep, definitely ads. <laughs> hey, it's all right. Versus me, like I said, episode 154. Make sure you go subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go subscribe to his YouTube you channel. better subscribe to this man's channel. Go follow, go share, go like, go comment. You're going to find a different version of me at your house. Go, go, sh go show some love, man, because this man really, really is. Uh, he's, he's, he's got everything he needs. You know, he's got the, he's got the sound. He's got the look. He's got everything that you want in a, in a fire artist. You want to, you want to, you want to book a show, hit him up. You want to fucking literally have somebody, you know, perform for your kid's birthday Hit them up. I'll sing them happy know? birthday in three different genres. Hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, the, the work ethic, it, it, it stands out. And you'll feel you'll feel the you know the good vibes every single time you're around them. So. Positive vibes. Hey, he talks about it all the time. He can't, can't just be faking it. He's got it. Without further ado, this version of me. Man, 
fire. Love that shit. Fire, fire, fire versions of me. Go check that one out too. Like I said, this is the Flint show. Literally, it's his show, his world. We're living in this motherfucker today, and man, are we playing some fucking heat? We are playing some heat. We are halfway through the fucking playlist. Halfway through. How the fuck do y'all feel? Comment on what you think. I'm going to literally share the entire fucking playlist and track list on a post on Feeling Good Podcast Instagram page. You're going to see it. So make sure you like, comment, follow, share if you aren't already. And if you, see him, if you see him on your shit, make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you do the same shit. Like, comment, follow, share every time he drops some shit. Every time he posts some shit. I share every, back. All that shit, man. Just shit. Follow for follow. Show some love. Hey. Show some love, man. We all in this shit. We all trying to win, baby. We all trying to eat. It's I'll share off my plate. It's very rare to uh, to be involved with fire artists, you know, early in their careers. And it's it's the perfect time for you to tap the fuck in because once that bandwagon goes a little 30, 40 miles an hour, you're fucking, you're going to have a hard time jumping and keeping on. So while we're, while it's fucking taking off, hey, jump the fuck on, man. Flint Child, he's here for the long haul. Um, this next song is Popeye. An another banger, another banger, and uh, what's crazy is the open, <laughs> the open beat. Uh, what is it? The the open beat is the same as like McNass has a song. McNass like has a song, yeah. So definitely, y'all have to jump on a shit and you know re remix some shit or. We thought about putting it together, and making a making a song with making it. Popeye, making Popeye, Popeye extended, part two. Or, yeah. Go crazy with it or something, yeah. I know, I know, y'all will go dumb. Popeye twins or some shit called yeah. Popeye twins. Some <laughs> eating spinach. Somebody's somebody's got to have yeah. endless amounts of cans of spinach there. But uh, but yeah, Popeye. Um, this up. Sure. What is Popeye to you, and what do you think of the first half of the songs that we played? So Popeye was just like a. <clears throat> so you know Stepford man is like when I f got serious with music writing it to like start trying to perform it and to put it out there I steered away from rap and that's all I did was rap freestyle and write I didn't really fuck with the other shit so when I got serious with it I'm like man I don't even feel like I've been writing this shit forever man it's easy to write raps to me you know like I want to do something that's challenging, try stepping out of my comfort zone. That's where testing yourself, testing your limits, seeing what you can and can't do. You know, your your falls, your life lessons, you know what I'm saying? So right. I started trying to touch different genres, and I realized I can write to any genre. So I can I can sing. Some days I can't, my voice be fucked up, but that day I might fucking sound good under some low, slow, deep voice shit like R&B. So, like, it's whatever I'm feeling, emotional, Health wise, healthy, like mental, like it's, it's literally putting me into my music. Everything I do. So this one, I was just like, man, fuck it. I ain't really put out no raps or nothing. I'm gonna just write one real quick. Wrote this in like an hour and a half. I remember because I was working on a different song before that, and I was like, I paused that one, found a beat, just put it on and wrote it, recorded it. I was like, fuck it, let me talk my shit. So that's where Popeye came about. So Popeye talk shit. Beat your yeah. ass. Y'all don't like this one. Y'all so, like this one. I'm not about that talk shit. Neither is Popeye. Popeye just, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, just, just, he said, just play it and hear it. Get that old one, too. <laughs> oh, shit. So this is Popeye. If y'all don't like this, you're crazy. Popeye. Look. I beat your ass like Popeye. Tell me pull up and I drop by. Get straight to the point. Don't come at me cock eye dick. This ain't a cock fight. You cook like a cuckoo bird. Stick like a doodle turd. Suck on your rat. Don't think you can do any worse. Recorded a feature. Thought it sounded good till you find out they cut out the verse. Fuck on my circle. You won't need a lift. You get to ride in the hearse. Father forgive all my sin for the juice. I used to take money out my most purse. Ain't do it to hurt it, but I didn't see that what I was doing was hurting her deep. Keeping it quiet and making it beep. Sneak out of hundo, then back to the streets. At the time, only care about the drugs. Everyone pushed me away, ain't show me no love. So I just said, fuck it, emotions were tucked, and I went back to snorting the drugs. 
do with my promises Different regardless, off of the raw when I go the hardest At least it's what I used to think till I put down the bag and I picked up the garden Rolling a dube as long as a broom Lighting it up, fuck to consume You not a smoker, don't break down no choker Might not wanna step in the room Hey, what do you say? I think it's best if you stay out of my way While I do my thing If not, then I'll likely have to rearrange your face Yes. <laughs> How y'all liking that shit? Leave it in the comments. Let them know. Whatever Popeye. the case may be. Check them. Ch tell them. Tell them how you feeling about that. That was Popeye. Uh, this next one is called Lonely. And man, if y'all don't, if y'all don't enjoy this one, like I said, stop listening because all we've been playing is fucking heat. Uh, fun fact: This is the second song. Pop pre-roll. Fun fact: Was my first song I ever. Recorded and put it out. I wasn't even going to put it out. I had it wrote. I had three songs wrote uh, <clears throat> to record when I first went to my buddy. Shout out to Prime Season, man. Shout out to New New Beats, which is Prime. He's also a producer and makes beats and shit. But Prime Season, man, he's like my brother. And, uh, <clears throat> you got a foot? Yep. Flint, Burton. So I went over to his house to do three songs. I wasn't even going to do pre-roll. He's like, man, let's just see how it sounds. Laid it out. Sound great. And then Lonely was the second one, so it's my second song I ever put out. It was Lonely. Damn. <clears throat> it's a banger. Goddamn ads. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> we gotta while we have an ad, we're gonna talk about the twenty two challenge. Hey, make sure y'all are doing the twenty two challenge. Make Better. sure make sure you're fucking, you know, giving some type of awareness to it. And whether it's twenty two push ups, twenty two burpees, whatever the case may be. 22 veterans and active duty service members kill themselves into a suicide every day. And it's, that's a crazy number. Yeah. You know, that shit should be much, much lower. So with y'all help, with anybody's help, share that shit. Hashtag 22 challenge for vets. Please do that. Hashtag 22 challenge. Hey, it's all the same shit. Spread awareness. Hey, we're doing a 22 mile ruck. This Labor Day or Memorial Day, we're going to be at the Dow Event Center or Dow in Midland, and we're going all the way to the fucking tall ships in Bay City. It's 22 miles. Damn. So, yeah, we're going to be rocking oh, yeah. it for uh, for a good cause. So, once a year, man, if you if you got it, if you if, if you want to fucking, you know, make some change, come the fuck on out. You know, halfway through, they fucking, you know, do a little, you know, tourniquet, whatever the fuck you need. If you can't make it, you can get picked up, whatever the case. And you know what? If you don't show awareness, you're going to feel very fucking lonely because I'm not going to fuck with you. You know, if you if you're not spreading love, positivity, you're gonna feel lonely from at least at least for me, you know, because I'm not gonna fuck with you. <laughs> for real though, lonely. Hey, without that further ado, man, let's play that shit. That's that's a banger. I'm walking down this road alone Middle of the crowd, still on the air Don't nobody see what's going on Force the spark, keep it hitting, yeah And force the wall, I stay on patrol Torch the power, light it up in smoke Every suicide note ever wrote It be so dark, I'm stuck in my mind Trying to be me, but I'm so unkind Heart been stepped on so many times Knowing the feeling is standing in line Caught on the time, knowing what comes if it was this time that a moment of light, darkness don't shine. So I gotta go get it, yeah, go get mine. If you do not know me, then watch it, I hold me. Oh, wait, you're the homie who bitch to blow me. Thinking you're high, but really below me. See right through you, pussy phonies. I'm not on a pussy bone, you pussies on that pussy snow. I'm on that dough, fuck what you thought, cause you don't know me, ho. Fuck what you thought, don't think. Say what you want, think a shit cut deep, but I no longer bleed. Bitch, rest in peace. Please, I ask that you just leave me be. If not, you shall receive the reason why the reason be. I feel alone, I feel alone, yeah. Feel like I'm walking down this road alone. Man, if y'all don't hear, that man is special. That man is special. Right Dude, here from Michigan, I-75, 40 minutes away. Flint, Michigan, man. Genesee County, they got themselves a fucking gem. I'm trying to get Genesee County. Y'all talk about, you know, the greats, like Crispy Life. Y'all talk about the greats, man. But y'all need to fucking add this man to the conversation. There's an artist named Grindhard. He's a good-ass artist around there as well. Um, they definitely need to be adding Flint out to the mix because 
man, just without without adding you to the mix is just is disrespectful to musicians. You know, like good music is timeless, and you make timeless ass music, man. The shit that's gonna last shit forever. That, shit that's that. gonna last forever. That's honestly, that's the only thing I ca- I care about is like, obviously everybody wants to make money off the music. That's and me, I want the same fuck thing. Obviously, <laughs> take care of my family and people I love and to help give back to my city and shit. But if I don't, I don't care about being famous. I just want the money. You know what I'm saying? So I could do positive and good shit with it instead of doing like a lot of motherfuckers do. You know, and then get into that obviously. But yeah. Man, it's coming. We definitely got to fucking make some noise with Tri-City Vintage Flea Market. We definitely got to make some noise when we do this event. I'm excited for how the visuals there. We got Mint Visuals going to be there for uh, doing visuals. Um, yeah, it's just some big shit's coming, man. I feel like, you know, like I've been saying it last year, all gas, big no shit. breaks. I've been, we're saying it this year, all gas, no breaks. And I think with the whole fucking FGF, the Feeling Good family, like, Fuck all star lineup. All star lineup. It's a dangerous movement when we come, you know, because we take out. the fuck over. Yes, sir. We take the fuck over, wow. you know, like with you, with the with the high powers, like you, Blue Moon, McNass, the PJ, the, you know, them fucking vocals just, whoo. Big Burt in the house, dog. Big Shout Burt. Out Big Burtsky. Big Can't wait Burt. For my boy, Big Burt, man. Me and him hopping on the track. Me and me and me and a lot of artists. I think every artist almost. Big shout out Melame family. Melame, uh, feeling good family, man. I'm, I'm trying to work Spade. Yep, big shout out Spade. Flaco, so many. So many. I'm excited, man. Definitely. Def- I feel like I'm definitely on the right path, dude. I did this shit by myself for so long. Like, that's why I feel, like I said, I feel like a lot of my song could be better because. Took a pathway to the breakthrough. I didn't have money to pay for the a mix and master and shit. So I'm trying to learn how to do it. And I didn't have nobody teach me how to use Pro Tools. I can't, I don't have enough patience to sit and fucking read how to use the shit. So I'm just right. fucking with shit, you know? Yeah. And watch a video, couple of videos and then trying to have the patience to sit there and watch the shit. I'm trying to get in there and put what the fuck I got ready to put in that mic. That's you. So. I feel it. I feel it. Would you say it's like a pathway to the breakthrough? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the next song we got. <laughs> that's the next song we got. I love it. Hey, I make love sure it. you go check that thing out. Pathway to the Breakthrough. As this man said, he's he's literally on the pathway to the breakthrough. <coughs> so on. show some love. The oh. song is a banger. The whole fucking set. We got eight songs, and I promise you, there are great. Hey, it's the grade eight. We call it the, the is this? Foot Child's Four, grade eight. This is number seven. Seven? Pathway eight. to I the I like that. Pathway to the breakthrough. To the break. It's a sweet one. <laughs> oh my god, that's a great commercial. I love that commercial. It's a sweet one. It's a one. sweet one. <laughs> Alright. This is Pathway to the Breakthrough. Just real shit. The lyrics. Making the lyrics make sense. This is one of the first songs I heard by him. This is Crypto. <coughs> Pathway to the Breakthrough. I'm on the path to the body mission Look in the mirror, I see the vision I can reveal itself after decisions Be on point, try to keep it consistent Yeah Foot on your neck, gotta keep it persistent Do this myself, I don't need an assistant Based on mentality, need some assistance Questioning myself about my existence Like why are you here, what is it you do? Is it something you need, what can I do for you? I come from a place where you watch what you say Or where are you standing because of you lay Colors and rivalries claim in a name Joining a family you trust in the vein Claim that they got you, you trust what they say Got your back to the end of the day Yeah, right But that's just words that they say But watch when the clouds start rolling in See you stuck around and get rolling in Damn be the ones to be rolling with Playing goals, start growing with Surrounding, surround you, kill them to or drowning you Down in them churches, the people be down to you Almost to crown you, flipping the smile of your face Upside down to you, try not to frown you Reaching out to the people around you Instead of hit down, you shoot you away like GPS around you Damn, that's crazy Positive vibes that we be on Deal with the emotions by writing these songs Working all day, my nights be long Working 9 to 5 and on to these songs Truly an artist for painting the picture 
turning your thought into a motion picture. Yeah, that's... Oh, I got goosebumps right now. I ain't got goosebumps from my own song, dude, in a long time, man. Well, what, what, like, was is, is, is obviously that's uh, one of the one of your more uh, you know heavily heavily songs. What is, what is like the feedback been from that one? Honestly, not not a lot at all. From damn, really. So y'all need to make sure y'all give them some feedback. I want, hey, whoever the fuck is listening, make sure y'all go check them out. Make sure y'all give some feedback. Because that shit matters. I think Colin said she really likes this one, though. I'm pretty big shout out, Colin. And my girl, my girl loves this song, too. That's one of my girls. I think that might be her favorite. I don't even think My Love is her favorite, which I fucking wrote for her. It's called My Love, but <laughs> she loves Pathway. It's her favorite. But no, that was, uh, the one, like I said, the range. The range is just for days. For days. And luckily, fucking... Luckily, you're not too far away, man, because I want you on every show, like I said, for my kid's birthday party, to <laughs> my fucking, to my my Tri-City events, to to literally fucking the 99 Jersey Plug shows, like, all that shit. And I'll, I'll be honest, be honest, man. On them all. This man don't get enough credit, too, which he, this man's very, he's a family-oriented person, man. He's very humble and loving as well. I see a lot of myself and him. We're the same age, 28, right? 29. 29. I'm about to be 29 in December. He's got kids. I got kids. Like I said, I, I, can, I feel like I can read people's auras, you know what I'm saying? And I like yours. Yeah, I, I, I like you. I, I like, like you. you. <laughs> I like that nigga. <laughs> I, I try to just, you know, like, I try to just be honest. I try to just be, you know, like myself, you know, like even, you know, when it comes to, you know, like, oh, shit, you know, like, I want a threesome or... You know, like, hey, it's better to be honest, you know, like, it's better to let you know, like, hey, I want to, I want to see another woman eat your coochie, you know, like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail, you know what I'm saying, but, hey, it's just, I mean, it's, most men, you know, it's just what we want, you know, a lot of, like, <laughs> it's just what we want, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of men are afraid to admit it, they don't want to fucking upset their girls, and, and I understand it, you know, it's about having this respect, crazy, right? it's about having <laughs> respect and understanding boundaries, it's all right. that. But at the same time, Somebody. you should always be able to openly communicate what now you, the what ones you that like. You're, if you feel like you can, then you're with the right woman. Possibly still might not be the right one. But you know, so you, learn, learn, you learn and you Look to lose. your lady you as win. you're driving down the road and you're listening to this podcast. Hopefully she don't make you turn it off. <laughs> and uh, just, just enjoy each other's time. Turn it off go... So do you want to have a three? Right. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Is I'm that not, how you feel? I'm not saying it's everybody, but I'm saying it's everybody. Oh, my <laughs> I'm saying it's everybody from you know, from the from the preachers, to the nuns, to the to the to the good folks at Menards. I feel like there's a lot of people <laughs> that are are. They might not admit it, but man, they freaks. Who, if you are a man? And you enjoy a nice where session of a nice session of oral. Where are we going with this? Yeah, he said, "All right, that's uh, that's, <coughs> enough. that's enough here." McCann, yes, so we're gonna turn. They're gonna turn this fucking car around. He said, "Fuck this road oh. trip, honey." But yeah, so uh, just be open. Just be honest. Just be honest, man. Just be honest be with you. yourself. Be yourself. Be, be you. That's one of my big things too. Be yourself. If people. People are going to love you. For that. My, check out my song. My phone's not, by the way. Uh, check out my song, Who I Am, because that's one of my things. Like, this is me. This is who I am. Take me as I come. Love me for the man I am. This is me. This is who I am. Take me as I come and leave me where I stand. Like, be yourself. People, gonna, The ones that love you and that are there for you, love you for you. They going nowhere. Right. You ain't got to worry nowhere. about something changing up. And if they do, then that's them, not your fault. Right. You can't control everybody's can't control actions. It. Can't uh, control it, man. I gotta ask you, man. You're an Avengers fan. You, oh, you, you, yeah. you love the superhero stuff, so I, I gotta ask. If you had one superhero power, what would it be? Honestly, I would take all the hate and, and evilness out of everybody's heart so there'd be more love and positive things going around in this world, man. Damn. That... That is deep, y'all. And everybody, everybody. Rewind that back you know? so you can hear it again. This man said, take everybody's hate. 
I've said this shit from time and time again. We got a lot of racism in this world. We got a lot of Fuck anger. That. We got a lot of hate. I don't see race. I don't see color. I see a world full of beautiful others. Mommies and sisters and daddies and brothers and people who come together to be lovers like, damn, we need to change. They talking about dollars to turn into change. Talking about love. I see the word rage. It's part of who I am. It's in my veins. Woo! Hey. <laughs> F-O-E. It's over my heart, man. Another fucking reason to go tap the fuck in, man. He doesn't just live it. He's got a tattoo on him and he lives in it. So. Man, man I just worked my chest yesterday. I shouldn't have punched my chest like that. <laughs> Hurt. Ow. I will say the uh, the final track that we were gonna play tonight was Hot <laughs> Hot Summer Days. Oh, with Apollo fe featured Apollo. Big shout out to Apollo, man. But Apollo, the the phone died, and hey, what can you do? So we're gonna still put another track list. Make sure you go fucking listen to it. Hot make Summer sure Days, you, man. Make sure you go show some love because Bye. it is a good song. A lot Every of these song. songs are, 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 are timeless. I'll be honest, they're timeless. But he's got a long list of music, so dive in. A lot of new shit coming out. You tell him what you like, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, you, your favorite song might be his next song. And it, it's probably going to be mine, too. <laughs> Honestly, it might not be mine, man. I just, for some reason, I be, hey, I listen to my song after I make it, and then I'm like, all right, I'm on the next one. I don't like man, hearing them, my kids play it over them, and over again. Them fucking songs you <laughs> sent me on Messenger, bro. You went stupid. Oh, sneak peeks. Stupid. Sneak peeks. Holy shnikes. Stupid. This kid can't pass class is stupid. That way he went fucking dumb. That was wow. My favorite video he reaction of you one time. I sent you one. You, you said, but you like, oh, oh, oh you little boy. <laughs> she was hilarious. I was rolling. I'm like, he loves it. <laughs> I, feel, I love I, it, man. I love it. I feel blessed whenever you send, send me some shit, you know? I feel blessed that you love it, you know? It's, it's just uh, love all about. Yeah, you send me some shit. Uh, <coughs> Zach Shield sends me some shit. So it's like. You know, I enjoy, I enjoy it. I feel like, you know, it kind of keeps me involved. I feel like I never get to miss none of your songs. And I know a lot of songs whenever they're fucking performed. I'm like, this one's performed. This, I've, heard this, I've heard this one. Give me it. Give me it. Play it. I'm ready for it. Let's turn the fuck up. He's like, this is a banger. Yeah, I can't deny it. Y'all have, have heard this? All right, turn the fuck up. Get the fuck away from here. Put that drink down, lady. Put a fucking tampon or something in it. Put a napkin on that top. <laughs> Tell the bartender not to fucking roofie you. But yeah, man, just so much, so much good music. Uh, the the other uh, community feedback we had was from Chainless. Oh yeah, Big shout out Chainless. Yes sir, yes sir. He said we got closest in Florida, close as fuck. Solid ass dude, man. Never no issues. Big heart, down to work, network with folks all around. And uh, yeah, out. Chainless don't really talk much, so him Bad fucking. Love, man. Him fucking opening up, I was like, hey, you know, what do you got to say, you know? I told him in Florida, man. I said, I'll fuck somebody up for you, dog. Hell yeah. <laughs> and I feel the same way, man. I feel the same way. I mean, I will for the for the whole crew, you know what I'm Somebody I love, you know, if I, I don't trust a lot of people, man. Like I said, I was not always this person. Like, that's why, honestly, sometimes it's hard for me to get to know somebody. But at the same time, I want to know everybody. I'm a big social person. Like, yeah. I have that, but I... You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a it constant fight with myself. But if I get to know you, man, then you're like family to me. If you if you come to my house, you're family. If I invite you to come to my house, you're family. Right. That means that you're locked in for life. So if if he's ever invited you and you've never gone there, I mean, just we need to we need to set up a little fucking trip. <laughs> and you need to take your ass down to the fucking A one O. I got the I got the basement set up now. I got a couch down there. Fucking studios down there. I got a fucking full size ta table down there. I got a bar down there. I'm gonna put a TV down there, and that's gonna be like the hangout. We can all come, you know what I'm saying? Hang out, talk, make ideas, promo, Hell make yeah. music, whatever. Fuck yeah. Um, Big Bert. Big Bert. Big Bert. Big shout out to Big Bert, man. Loves. That's my work. <laughs> I love Big Bert. He loves pre roll. That's my, that's my big. Okay, my fault. <laughs> now Big Bert says uh, pre roll is a hit. Hidden gem, a diamond in the dirt, never been found type shit. Too humble, kind of, for your own good, he says. You know, he says, uh, you know, he often compared it to himself a little bit, you know, because, you know, when... Uh, and I know that. I know that. He says a lot of times where... I'm too trustful. Too trust, you know, yep, yep, You know, and he says just, you know, so... 
I can't help it, man. It's just my girl told me that too, man. Like I, I've, I've been fucked over by a lot of people, bro. Not like I'm not gonna fucking do some crackhead shit, you know. Like I know right. my safe places. You know what I'm saying? Move the whole house for. Hey, bro. I've had bump, bro. I've helped. I've helped homeless Thanks. people, and they're like, "Hey, man, can I, can I pop a tent in your backyard?" I'm like, "Ah, no. Like I'm not that type of person." But at the same time, if I truly, genuinely feel that I can let my wall down to you, then I'm going to let the image down. I'm not going to halfway. I'm going to give you the chance to fuck me over. Right. If you do, though, you'll never get that opportunity That's again. That's I am. And if you get that side of me, you don't want that fucking side of me because I'm that... When I get mad, bro, that's where the old old me comes out. And it's it's a people... It's a, I've been fighting to keep him away for a while. You know, and I don't... People don't want that side of me. I try to be the positive, loving person, man, because that's what the world needs. Yeah. Beautifully said. But yeah, he said, uh, let people know you that dude. But <laughs> I think I think I think you already know that. I'm that shit. dude. <laughs> you that big, dude, man. You are. Big shout out Bert for that, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, he's uh he's he's gonna be there uh for a couple shows coming up, so this is big, man. It's like, gonna be a show, our show too. Yep, so like I said, it was I wanna say like a year ago, you know, getting him to perform, you know, was was gonna cost some cheese. You know, now it's to the point where we're like, we're willing to, we're able to fucking, you know, lock him in and, you know, get him, get him exposure like he needs, you know, get you exposure like you need. And it's just, it's like everyone has the same mindset to win, you know, and it's like when that shit is dangerous and you got a collective, game over. Teamwork makes the dream work, bro. Yeah. You, you, wanna, you got a family around you that, that want to win as, excuse me, as much as you, yeah. you're unstoppable. You want to go fast? You go alone. You want to go far? You go. You go with a team. And yeah, I'm excited. Big things all 2023. Like I said, California. We got a uh, you know Indiana being planned. Um, a handful of places coming. So I'm excited. We're gonna be in New York coming up right before fucking Cleveland. That's gonna be crazy as fuck. That's gonna be fun. So we're going to Cleveland. We're going to New York and then fucking Cleveland. Uh, Brown Bag Boy fucking has like a, he got us this fucking billboard on Times Square that's gonna be going off for 15 seconds every four hours. Oh yeah. Or every hour for 15 seconds every hour for 15 hours or four hours. Nice. Yeah, crazy. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm excited. I'm excited just to go down there. I've never been to New York. Me neither. Me neither. Gonna be. We're going. I've heard. We're going stupid. Getting the microphone, going dumb with interviews, going. We're we're trying to go make some noise, make some music videos. It's gonna go stupid. That'll be fun. And we're gonna make a music video before you leave. Before I leave? Yep. Me and you. Leave for where? This garage. <laughs> oh. We're, oh we're, shit. Yeah, we're going. We're, it's going down. Oh yeah. But okay. uh, but yeah, folks, go show some love, and just go tap in, man. I feel like this is going to be one of uh, one of many interviews with Flint Child. As you all know, I love this man. I love this man's voice. Love I love too. this man's fucking music. You know, like I said, the, the 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 range and the versatility is out of this fucking world. And it's just a matter of time before he's fucking going and, you know, he's going to be on bigger shows and you're paying hundreds of dollars to see him and you got some bullshit ass seats. But if you know me, I got you. VIP. But if you just there. but if you just tap in now, you can literally see all of that shit. Front row ski, every show, you know, just, whatever. Just just be there, be there. There's lots of shows coming be there, up. Be circle. Don't miss one of them. Circle jerking. Don't miss none of them. But if you're gonna miss one, hey, make sure you don't miss the one in Flint, because he's going stupid. April sixth at the fucking JW's uh, Music Factory. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy, man. I'm excited. I'm so excited for that shit. I really am too. I'm gonna. I'm ready to go, like go promote and go stupid around the city before the event. And I gotta go back to the mall and see if that flyer's still there on the door. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're probably like, uh, what the fuck is who, this? Who the fuck is this? Who approved this? <laughs> I was wondering how long it might be still be there. That'd be dope. Yeah. So then you know a lot of people seen it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping half of, all the flint shows up. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I told my girl, she's like, it's fucked up. I'm like, what's fucked up? I'm like, I'm hoping it'd be so packed. There's accidents out front for motherfuckers trying to get it out. Yeah. 
<laughs> She's like, it's fucked up. I'm like, I hope, they, I hope nobody gets hurt. But I hope there's lots of car wrecks. <laughs> Said, I hope a lot of Come out coming. and turn the fuck up with us, man. Only bring positive vibes, though, because I'll fuck you up. It's my show. We out there with positivity and love, man. Let's have a good time and be able to celebrate the great genuine art that these very talented artists are welcoming, you know, us to hear their talent. So why not come turn out and have a good time? Facts. <clears throat> yeah, without further ado, man, you want to leave us with a closing statement? Hey. Positive facts a day is coming to you on all platforms, on my, on my social medias. I'm going to start doing that. I'm ready. Um, big shout out to everybody who, you know, gave us feedback. Much love to you guys. Big shout out to Melamed and the Melamed family. Melamed and the Feeling Good family. Much love to this man right here for having me. Always, man. Always. Like I said, the first of many. I'm trying to fucking, you know, you know, break down, you know, do album reviews for your music. I'm trying to do all that shit. We'll go we'll go crazy all the time for shit. So it's never a matter of when, it's just a matter of, you know, aligning schedules. You oh know? yeah. Better go. So I'm yeah. that. Like I said, episode episode one fifty four, y'all. Feeling good podcast, the podcast your brain wants. Find my brain fucking wants it. If you don't already know, this man's got some merch coming soon. He's going to yes. be on the lookout with a lot of shit. So if you think this is the last time you heard about Flint Child, think again. Because uh, all fucking year long, all gas, no breaks, y'all. Flint Child, 810-989. We in this bitch.